the point you made, Sammy. And I'm curious, uh, Greg, you have kids, and I don't know whether they play hockey or they're old enough or they're too young yet, but all too of young my, yet. <laughs> too young. Eight months. You're, you're, you're going to be scratching your head uh, if they aren't interested in hockey. All of mine have played ice sports, ringette, with all my girls growing up, but uh, all played different sports. And the idea of them choosing to do in their lives what they want to do is really important. And I think there's some parents out there that force them to do something they don't ne necessarily want to do. And they're trying to please their parents. And I can't imagine the strain that must be on the relationship when you're just doing something like that. And I don't know, Sammy, if you can add something to that and whether you've encountered it or not, or it, how do you handle it when you see it happening? You're right, Wally. It's tough. I mean, it's, um, she, my daughter played for three years and her first year, she, first two years, she had Jennifer Bottrell and Adrian Lamonaco, her husband coaching. I mean, these are two of the best coaches in the entire world. And then her final year, we moved her over to just all girls and, thought maybe that that was kind of the issue. And um, so my husband, Billy uh, Bridges, who's a sledge hockey player and I coached and we we're on the ice and, um, you know, I, we are all about fun and all about making it exciting for all the other, uh, for everyone. And we were certainly not hard on her or anything, but it it is really hard to see them when they don't love it. And you know, she told us so many times over those three years, but we thought, I think like so many parents, oh, eventually they'll like it if they just can learn to skate and then she learns to skate and she still, it's not her thing. Um, so when she came to us in the summer and she said, you know, I, mommy, I really don't want to play hockey. I said back to her, I think not rightly, but I said, you know, mommy really loves coaching and I love the U9 level and that's just, you know, my bread and butter. And I said, well, you just play one more year of house league because mommy really loves it. And she turned to me and she said, you know, for, for you, mommy, I'll play. And I thought exactly the wrong reason. You know, it really stopped me dead in my tracks and made me realize, like, she is simply playing for me. And so when she does rock climbing or she does gymnastics, she does karate, her face lights up and she gets excited to go and she puts on her own equipment and her own stuff. And that just wasn't the case in hockey. And I, I truly do think that Hockey took mom and dad away a lot um, in her childhood. And so it doesn't necessarily have the best connotations. So who knows? Maybe she'll come back to it at some point. But there is such a joy when you see your child do something they love. And so I really encourage all parents that, you know, maybe are struggling with it, that it is okay that they step away from the game. And if they're telling you, you know, I think it's important that when kids make a commitment, that they see it right through to the end um, and that you don't take them out halfway unless there's huge issues, um, but they commit to it at the end and then they replace it with something else that is fit and active. Cause I think it's really important for kids to be fit and active and, and to be busy and, and learn uh, all the important skills that sport can teach us, but it will t certainly take us in different journeys and different directions. And um, with only one too, there's just, we only have a, an only child and sometimes all eyes are on her as well. So it's different when you have a harem like Kim has, uh, where all, they're all running around free and wild um, and get to kind of choose the things they want. Um, but with one, you're always asking those questions. And I think listening is uh, so important. So that's my recommendation is to, you know, uh, allow them the chance to do everything, but listen when they are telling you what they they want to pursue. Wise words, Sammy. Thank